Hello, Scorpio. Jeez, do I have my volume up? I better triple check. No. That sounds better. How you doing? It's Lynn from Tinker Tarot, and I'm here to do your December cartomancy reading. I <laughs> had to click in for a second. <laughs> it's morning. So, Scorpio, how you been doing? Let's put your energy in there, Scorpio. Hmm. December 15th and on. Oh, there you are. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. What flipped over? Queen of Clubs. This is your actual card, but I'm taking these few other ones, too. You had a couple that are really oh and king of clubs on the bottom very interesting so the queen of clubs is usually seen as a brown or hazel-eyed woman she's also seen as the friend you know she's known as the friend ah uh, she's someone who helps um who is good worker who can make who can expand things okay so let's get these dealt out for you here first and then we'll have a look at all that There we go. Just go around three times until there's three cards in every pile. All right. So, Queen of Clubs, and who else here do you have? This could be you, Scorpio, or someone around you. So, King of Spades, Four of Spades, Nine of Diamonds, and the Ten of Spades. So this could be a very dark-eyed man. Could be either one could be the opposite sex as well, excuse me. But anyway, the king of spades usually is single, not by choice, separated, widowed, divorced, and is still wearing their pain, is still healing from whatever event they've gone through, you know, suffering in some way. And um, they also can be very hard people, you know, they're, they're hurt, so they're guarded, and they're very serious now, you know. Um, this person, it looks like, was filled with a lot of doubt. They were very doubtful, torn apart about, um, could be a trip, or could be a, um, um, investing like it's about investing themselves, okay? And anyway, whatever it is, and, and, and it possibly could be themselves or financially what they have their money already invested in, their time into. And it also could be a stream of income that's coming to an end. So either way, whether it's about investing themselves this could be you as, as well, Scorpio, investing yourself or a stream of money could come to an end for this person. They kind of had their doubts anyway, you know what I mean? They might be suffering from a bit of depression. So here in your current energy, you have the Six of Diamonds, the Jack of Clubs and the Ace of Diamonds. Um, this looks like a possibly a new friend coming into your world. Um, you could meet them while traveling or meet them while pursuing um, financial interests. Like, you know, you could be, because um, here you see your finances going up, okay? You're taking steps forward in your investments, your security, you know what I mean? And then we see, um, uh, also I see you working on a new financial stream you know it feels like you've been able to take what you had and do something with it and now you're also able to enter 
some sort of new it could be a new contract too because i see the ace of diamonds quite often as a new contract this could have been something you heard about through a friend um it could it's probably some sort of work i think that you're going to be pretty happy at this also you could be on the learning curve of course because it's new but um it's it's requiring work but it has a ton of potential and solid uh, commitment looks like okay the option for solid commitment anyway that's my incense burning if you just see smoke going by every once in a while oh this is interesting so you have coming in you have the five of clubs the nine of spades and the five of diamonds now fives are gains and losses and sometimes they're about our bodies as well here right so um these are both gain cards and 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 they're good because you're getting more work therefore you're getting more money it could be in the health health industry in some way you could be helping people with their health helping perhaps them navigate uh because like i said i see a lot of the body here the health um wanting to improve change you know, these are both um, gains, but they're improvement, that kind of gain, you know, an improvement. And so I see physical improvements, financial improvements, um, but it's all taking work, you know. And I also think you're healing in some way. This could be your heart, your body in some way but it's all really positive changes around um like and and also you could be working in the health field in some way and helping people uh navigate or make changes themselves okay hmm. so above you you have the two of spades the eight of spades and the five of the two of spades the two of hearts the eight of spades and the five of spades now this looks like a romantic possible romantic situation or it could be a relationship you have with a friend or family member but anyway it's partnership right relationship and it's feelings involved but it looks like there could be an argument a discussion a disagreement something that you it's words you're having words in some way and then there is the five of spades and the five of spades is one of the fives that is a loss so there it, you may experience some sort of loss for a time okay now it could just be temporary right it could be temporary but uh there's something you're not somebody is not accepting you think you're saying no that's not okay or you know so you're um it's usually about being truthful you know it's usually about being truthful so coming in or i mean not coming in but in your um ambitious pile you have the queen of hearts the five of hearts and the king of diamonds this is really beautiful this is around your work environment how you contribute to the world or your how you're creative and again you have another five there's so many changes coming for you and mostly all positive you have one thing to deal with here but everything else is really coming up roses for you scorpio so this is something positive that's changing in your feeling, you know, life, your romantic life. I feel like there's possibly someone coming in that um, could be kind of fatherly, could, could be a father, literally. I feel like they could be older than you, uh, it, it, male or female. Darn smoke, I'm going to move that over there. And... Um, I feel like you could be treated special or uh, get a gift or get some sort of special treatment. I feel like it's some sort of gift, flowers or I don't know, something to show you that you're special or maybe perhaps you're showing this person they're special. I think it's more directed toward you, but um, yeah, so 
and there's there's change in your love life you know change so this has to do with this king of diamonds who is the mature man he is over 50 definitely he he is mature he's or he has responsibilities like the emperor you know the emperor in the tarot with this that's the king of diamonds really in this deck and he's responsible and he's usually fairly secure you know um has his home and his everything he needs the queen of hearts is sometimes oh if uh the king of diamonds sometimes has um green gray or very pale blue eyes and the queen of hearts can have blue eyes or she is the one that's very caring nurturing person helps everybody always says yes you know wants to be there really nice and kind of a mother in a way very nurturing so we have the mother and the father here kind of around this work and this is in your work con contributing how you're spending your energies your creative energies and uh, there's something brewing there's something growing here changing in your emotions between these two people anyway <laughs> so um in your exterior uh environment you have the six of clubs the four of clubs and the the king of hearts I almost said the five again okay so you've definitely been taking steps in your work in your career your friends this is how your friends are seeing you or influencing you okay there could have been a delay a pause before you could move forward something like that and I also feel like there's been a delay with a king of hearts um doubt i think that things were going uh well for a while it was working it was going well and then suddenly there was a big pause there was a big gap like the grand canyon okay and it was with the king of hearts it's it's funny because the queen is just up here and there's things changing in her life or his life and now this person could be coming around this could be an ex this could be your soulmate coming in who knows but um i feel like there there is some sort of a gap here that's what i feel like there's a gap okay and it's still unsure of where that's gonna go <laughs> It, the, this is very interesting as well so in your foundation you have the seven of spades the ten of hearts and the jack of spades so above you here and a lot of times these opposite sides reflect each other you know and here we had the two of hearts this partnership this relationship that was having an issue because of a communication something something's going on in the communication i feel like someone's not accepting this story anymore okay but in the foundation it looks like there's been tears maybe a tears over a, a love ending a relationship ending coming to an end and it could have been with someone that was troubled you know a troubled young person this person could be their child um someone around them who just seems to be in trouble cause trouble stir trouble something okay but there could be a lot of tears because this has ended okay for you or this person you know um there could be another ace under this pile here because we have a couple of tens and one ace every single five it seems like everything's changing in your life and you want it to i think you're ready you know you you're ready now well you did get the two of diamonds the king of clubs and the three of spades so the two of diamonds you know this could be a business relationship it also could be a very sparkling uh relationship someone you feel you could just talk very easily to all right and or you could you know things went 
it was an equal, fair partnership, okay? Probably with this king of clubs. This is a brown or hazel-eyed man. Could be a woman, too. This person is the seen as the friend. They're helpful. They're smart. They, they are good. Um, they're very resourceful people. Very resourceful. But anyway, there's some sort of obstacle um, coming. I have a feeling it's for them specifically. It could be in your partnership, in your relationship between you or their relationship. An obstacle coming could be a third party. Something to do with a third party here. Deception. Um, and it doesn't have to do with a love relationship necessarily. It could be a business relationship and it could be some sort of deception around money specifically. Okay. So, um, just keep your eyes and your ears open, um, um, uh, for that. Cause this could surprise you. You're not expecting it. All right. So tell me for Scorpio. Oh, oh. There's your card right there. So this is a Christmas tarot, and it's based on Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. So uh, there's ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Let's see what you got. Wow. I think you got future because you got the world completion. So there's something you've accepted finally, something you're ready to let go of. Ten of spades. Where is it? Ten of hearts. Okay. Something you're ready to let go of. There's completion maybe for more than one of you, around of you in your life, but this is a time. And as I said, October was the ten and November is the one you're ready to move on. You're ready to start a new chapter. And when we get to the world, it's because we understand now. We understand everything we've been through and why. And we're okay with it. We're ready to move on and not feel it, you know, be upset with it or anything. You know, just all um, wrapped up in it anymore. You're not. And see, you're just going to get let those ghosts of Christmas past just stay right there. And you're ready to move on now. That's really, really nice. I can see that everything's changing and you've grown a lot and you're still growing yet. You're about to make some leaps and bounds in the new year. So I would get ready for that kind of <laughs> very exciting Anyway, Scorpio, I hope you like this reading. I'm doing a $50 reading special until December 20th. If you're interested, just write me at tinkertarotreadings at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you and we'll set something up. If you're not, that's okay. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'll be thinking of you and stay safe out there. Okay, bye now.